When people see me in the public, many of them think I'm a rich Chinese woman <laughs> with a nice husband supporting me because that is the stereotype. That isn't my story. I have worked very hard to become where I am today. My life hasn't been an easy one. I grew up in poverty and abuse. Both of these cycles exist in my family for generations. However, when I must go to school, I was so happy. I like school and I'm good at it. The teacher was very kind, but I dreaded coming home every day. Education saved me. It gave me perspective of the world and inspired me to want a better life. Eventually, I graduated from university and found a job to give me better chances. I completed a master's degree and worked in an international company. I became pregnant with my daughter in order to reduce a social stigma I had to marry her father. When my daughter was born, I knew it that I didn't want her to grow up the way I have. So I thought, immigrate to Canada <laughs> was our best hope. <laughs> we applied to leave to China as skilled immigrants and we were accepted. I came to Canada in 2003 when my daughter was a toddler. We were in a total cultural shock. Her father didn't stay in Canada for even a month. He left us in Vancouver and moved back to China. Eventually, he did come back, but it ended in a bad situation when he did. I realized the cycle of abuse was continuing, and it had to stop it for her sake and my own. I connected the appropriate services in Vancouver to enlist the help I need to break the cycle. Eventually, it shaped up. I could say now I'm a happy lifelong learner, an enthusiastic volunteer, a feminist, and a proud mom of a grade 12 girl who is here today. <laughs> who thrives at school and is determined to go into university. My daughter is a constant source of empowerment to me. When I feel distressed, she always knows what to say to make my day brighter. Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> Together, we work in breaking the cycle of abuse experienced by the women in my family. I would like to say the stories of the women in my family life are isolated narratives, but they are not. I committed to, uh, to be a lifelong learner in school. 
I'm working towards becoming a social worker. I aimed to help children and women, wonderful people as we were, to create, to create better lives and better story. <laughs> <laughs>